say no to my items. <laughs> wow. yeah. We have, of course, a human expert here by my side, Atheist P, once again, the co-caster of this series. And, uh, yeah, I think you're the human version of Chechi, because he's flaming humans a lot, and you're, like, the hater of Night Elves. <laughs> yeah, Jack is fun, I like this guy so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when it comes down to, to flaming the other races, you guys are pretty much alike. Yeah, yeah. So but tell us about... He's flaming... What? He's, he's flaming two races, he's flaming human and night elf. He's flaming two races and I'm flaming just human, <laughs> just uh, night elf. Yeah, but, but well, human is strong against uh, the orcs and the undead, so there's nothing to flame yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us about uh, human on Amazonia. Well, what are you going for? What do you like about this map? Etc. Uh, in overall, I like to play on Amazonia. I think it's a good map for human, except versus Night Elf. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think you must go to, to fast expand on Amazonia, no matter how good are you in refer push, because at that point he just he can just mass bears and you're screwed, unless you're yeah. half and you can micro like uh, with 50 against 50. It's ridiculous. I watch his stream and I can't believe how he's winning this. But I think the fast expo is his best choice. Yeah, but we see Hawk uh, not going for the fast expo, he's trying to harass, uh, yeah. most likely setting up the rifle push, he's tacking already, and there will be a blacksmith soon, so most likely a shorter game. But I totally agree yeah. with you, once there are like two bears on the battlefield, I think you can't win with the uh, uh, rifles anymore. And, and funny thing is that uh, Chinese humans never go for rifle caster yeah. on any map, always fast expand, every time. Yeah, it is of course a little bit harder here on Amazonia because of the rock golem, but yeah, I think but it's still doable. If you if you creep it perfectly and you get level three and DH is level one still, then you should up again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A player's forces are under attack. So tier two text by both players. Foggy already on its way to tier two, and I think okay, he'll go. Foggy, Foggy lost one wisp. And... Okay. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, I think. The moon wills are all healthy, and now he gets the footman in return. So I think when you go rifles, um, it hurts a lot when you lost the footman, right? Yeah, it hurts a lot. Lost when you, it hurts a lot when you lose anything. Yeah. You can you can't afford to lose anything. Yeah, you gotta hit quick and, and you gotta hit hard. Yeah, and we know that Foggy likes to TP on humans' main base if there is no arcane tower. Mm -hmm. And use emulation on talents, but I don't see he's doing right that, that right now. No. And he is building, of course, a Huntress Hall, so no fancy talent stuff. Oh, almost a sur surround on the Archmage. Oh. oh, man. No mana on the Archmage anymore. So I don't think the timing will be that great for Hawk. Yeah, I don't know what is. I don't know what he's half doing right now. He lost a lot of hit points, but, but now he's splitting his, his uh, footies quite well. Naga for Foggy. Naga as for... Human, uh, huh? As human play, player, you can't also afford to lose mu uh, too much HP on uh, footies, because when you make shop, it's, it's, it's just bad for your economy. Okay, nice pickup here from Hawk, getting uh, the Naga right away with his own. And now, nice, yeah, nice block on the Demon Hunter. Nice, nice, nice. But as you mentioned, he loses a lot of hit points. And where's the shop? Oh, there is none. He's just building. No, he's building an Arcane Sanctum, so he's not even building a shop. And ooh, surround attempt yeah. from the militia. Is it gonna get through? Nope, it's not. Mm. It needs to reposition, maybe buying a Zeppelin or something. Nope, not going for it. And yo, this Naga will not be safe. It dies, so he gets the return, the revenge for his own Naga. And yeah, for Hawk now, his Archmage is low, there's no shop, he has one Rifleman yeah. out. So usually this would be the time to do some damage, right, with the first Rifleman out? Yeah, this is the time when 
Foggy should just go in base and kill the edge in front of 100 militia, no problem. <laughs> Okay, so Foggy, now a lot of time to creep, of course level 3 uh, is super important for level 2 mana burn. And he gets it, plus some more HP, some more damage. Looks good for him. This is a very, very good start for Foggy, I have to say. Yeah. And Hawk is using his rifleman to creep the little Murloc spot. This is a spot what you can usually do with militias, right, in between. So I think he's losing some time yeah, here. You you don't want to, to lose militia, to use militia too often, because okay. it would, I think. And uh, which is nice help when you go to the rifle caster, you want to, to finish game as soon as possible. In late game, you don't have chance, so... Okay, that's right, so Hawk is trying to push now without ivory towers. I think Hawk should attack. Yeah, he's getting uh, yeah weaker by the minute, I think. Uh, was his bear production? Okay, he's getting the first bear out. And adept training as well, so there will be rejuvenation for this push. Yeah, and Hawk is not moving towards his enemy base. He's stopping all over. Foggy does a good job from keeping him in away from the base. Yeah, he's just sucking mana with DH and... Because Archmage is without water, is useless. You're useless. All right, hey. Taskmaster spot now, level 3 for the Archmage, of course, is super important. Re replenishment potion, ah, it's okay, I guess. I think the Illusion Staff would have been best in this situation. T to have some yeah. more blockers. But we'll see. But again, when Foggy makes like. Three or four guys, water, yeah. so useless. Oh, yeah. So useless. So, 46 foot, 12 foot, and 41 Foggy. And Hawk didn't even did one push with his rifleman. Foggy did a great job in keeping him away from the base. He and did everything. He should in this Maybe he, he gets one or two units here, but he's focusing the arches, not the bear. Slight mistake from Hawk, I would say. But here yeah. comes the push, still no tower, still no militia attached. And okay. we have master. This A player's forces this are under attack. <laughs> He can pull something off, but... Yeah. If, if someone is capable of that hawk, he's capable yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. By far the best even, uh, human player in Europe. Even I, I talk I talk to Yumiko like maybe two, three months ago, and she told me I can't never micro against bears with rifles. So he's always going expert. Okay. Even Yumiko. Yeah, so makes sense to me to, to do that, but... Uh, yeah, Hawk is transitioning a little bit with uh, the first Spellbreakers here to do some more damage against the Bears. Something we rarely see because usually at this time around then the game is already won for the human because the the push worked or it's lost because there are too many Bears. Oh, good post of great healing. Good, good thing for Hawk is that he's, he's soon gonna get 2-0 on the Riflemen and... Uh, Foggy says 0-0 on bears. Okay. Yeah, Both players on 50 food, and finally Hawk is pushing into the base. Militia being called, and here comes Foggy. The bears, uh, yeah, quite far behind. The archers are blocking them, yep. so this is a good position that for Hawk at the moment. I, I actually, I don't like this position. He should okay. keep me out. I think this is not very good. Uh, yeah. yeah, he did the same. But he dropped the sentry ward, so he, had, he has some vision on the map. And. Yeah. Still 0 0, but, but Hawk did not do any damage. He didn't kill much. He didn't kill any units, any, uh, any buildings, nothing. But his hero levels, man. 3 4 3 now for Hawk. Yeah. And he's pushing into upkeep. 
two heal scrolls and the subby mask on the Archmage, so more water elementals. Foggy doing a risky creep and hawk mm, kinda knows what's going on because he knew where his opponent was walking to. But he's not forcing the fight, sending the militia back. Yeah, Foggy up, uh, did upkeep, so he's at 55 and Foggy still at 49. Yeah, this would be a good timing to push, I guess. Yeah, this is good time to push, I think. Yeah, but he's deciding to creep. Potion of Invulnerability, very supportive. And now it's time for Foggy to attack. Eight supply down, but he has the Master Bears. Heal potion and a an heal scroll. So, item wise, I think uh, Hawk is slightly ahead. And he's forcing the fight now. Foggy still runs away. Oh. Waiting for the militia duration okay. to be over. Foggy is still at 50. Okay, now he's he's going he, into upkeep. He is gaining time. Yeah, but uh, why is Hawk not pushing here? I don't know <laughs> answering that question really. Maybe he just wants to create the perfect position. Uh, okay. Or in this situation, I, I don't know what to do. To be honest, should I attack or should I just wait? Both are not good, because if you fight in Night Elf base, it's, ba it's bad. If you wait, he's gonna mass bears and it's also bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think uh, Foggy now kinda trapped in this situation. Very open space, that's good for the bears, of course. But three heal scrolls up for Hawk. Oh. Here comes the bears, no blockers except from this one spell break. And of course the water elementals here is uh, raw on everything. Yeah. I think I think that uh, three sources can make big difference in this fight. Yeah, slow on the bears, always a good option. Nothing to dispel yeah. except the the wisp that I brought in. Here it is. First bear down, second bear is about to fall. So so far it's looking good for Hawk. Yeah, and uh, bad for Foggy because he he doesn't have any dread. Ooh, Demon Hunter, almost dead, but he took the big potion of healing, but now he has to retreat here, did no damage to Naga or Archmage, that was his goal, I think. And yeah, Foggy is kind of falling apart, but now the bears come towards uh, the Rifleman, and they do, of course, a big amount of damage, all the three heal scrolls being used, and now it's really Foggy's uh, time to shine, I think, no heal scroll for him either, Re repositioning from, uh, from the Rifleman, did a good job. That nice, was... nice micro by Fog. Yeah, he's always kiting them with uh, the slow bears. He's always stepping back a bit, doing more hits, and Foggy is losing one bear after another, not staffing. And uh, I think there's no cooldown. Okay, there is cooldown on the staff. Now trying to go for the Naga again. Level up saves her for now. Nice. And the Invu potion, of course, and Foggy lost all his bears, only down to f uh, some archers and the heroes. I can't... I can't understand... How else can lose fights like this? <laughs> I never, I, really, I, I don't understand this. Uh, well, there were three, uh, three heal scrolls. He used all, used all. He saved a lot of units. Well timed, the heal scrolls. And he is still not making uh, riots. Now he used the wisps. He has lumber pro problems now, so maybe this was uh, the, not the best decision, but he has three bears already. But Hawk's force seem superior right now. Level four on the Naga already, and with yeah, only three bears, this Fog Lightning hits so hard. And almost level five on Arknish. Wow, he gained so much experience, and now the Rune Bracers so he's kind of safe from, from mana burn and fog lightning on the Archmage. Level 5 on yeah. Archmage. He needs a lot of wisps to dispel this. Foggy at 48. Hawk is 49. Yeah, and Hawk so. even has almost 900 gold. Okay, now he's down to 500. Oh, focusing the Naga. Well timed. Fog Lightning as well. This position once again great for Hawk. I think the Rifleman so far completely yeah. untouched. 
Wow, that fog lightning hit good, but the uh, the Naga has to be very, very careful. Another fog lightning this time from Hawk. And the rifleman Bobby. are just doing good. Hawk, you're losing burst too easily. Oh, and now the Naga, way too much up front, dying without a big reason. GG from Foggy and Hawk. Nice, 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 nice. Really, I didn't expect this. Surprising. I thought that he didn't hit the first and second timing that is kind of possible or necessary with the rifleman push. But this first fight, man, he did so good. He waited so long for the perfect... Uh, for the perfect timing, and he got the heal scrolls, he got the invo potions, he had everything he needed in the fight, and he microed so well, he kited a bit, always step back, then hit again, step back, hit again, and yeah, Foggy didn't really know what really? to do against it. I like Foggy that. just just made big mistake because he he had no dryads. Yeah. He needed like four, four dryads, and he would be fine. If you can dispel once. It's good with the giant, uh, with the wisps, but uh, with dryads, of course, you have constant dispel, and that, uh, yeah, a bit better, I think, too. So the next map is gonna be Echo Isles. So this is kind of like the perfect human map, or what do you think? I don't think. I think it's even on this map because elf can creep like level 3 is so easy and put expansion and harshu and te tech <laughs> and everything <laughs> at the same and time yeah at the same time and you can just you can't uh, put expansion and, and uh, upgrade at the same time you need to choose something and to play without expansion on aquiles is instant lose i think yeah i think so too but once you have mortar teams i think it's good it's it's uh, pretty yeah good. a lot of narrow positions yeah here. Okay, you're at 1 minute 30 already? I'm um, soon. 5 seconds. Okay. Okay. Alright, then once again, flawless yeah. countdown. Oops, I gotta change the colors. Oops. Red, yellow. refresh. Alright, we are ready. We start in 3, 2, 1, go. In the yeah. upper left, we have Foggy playing with the Warden this time, and I really, really like that choice. Reminds me of the game of Rudin vs. Hawk at the WCA Pro Qualifiers on the exact uh, same map, which was uh, probably the replay of the year so far in big tournaments. And on the Reds side, we see Hawk with the Archmage once again. So yeah, we see a lot of Night Elves... Uh, counter the expansion like blindly without any scouting without anything just yeah. creeping the mercenary camp then put up an expansion and harass with the warden to to buy some time you see hawk wanted to steal the, the priest yeah usually he's very good in that but foggy always does this uh, 21 food trick or this time he didn't, but he got the he got the forest tall shadow priest. Nevertheless, seems like uh, Hulk is gonna go without expansion this time. Yeah, I that's think. really rare because he yeah uh, always plays this with expansion, but he scouted the warden pretty early on, I think, and maybe that's that's why he cancelled the plans. Yeah. Or maybe not, he's, he's building his fort uh, farm, so maybe just want to put some pressure not to, to give Warden time to get level 3 so easily. Okay. Well, he is level 2 now, and the Archmage, of course, very vulnerable to Shadow Strikes because he gets so slow, no boots, obviously. And I think if he gets the Shadow Priest, he will try to run away, but Shadow Priest too fast, and even with the Claws plus 6, yeah, he catches another sh Shadow Strike, and now he has to be really careful. So much damage coming in, there is a Claw for the Warden as well. Is he able to get to the, the shop to buy something, or will he just let it die? Ah, there's no Shadow Strike anymore, and no boots yeah, for the Warden, no so he will get away. Ah, right. So still... Hawk is doing a really good job by killing some Wisps and prevents... Oh, Foggy blocking now, blocking the Archmage, but he escaped oh, with 4, four HP. HP. 
But for how long is the question? Will he sacrifice himself into creeps or something? There's another wisp from Foggy, but he doesn't realize it! Oh, big mistake! I think he, he could have blocked Fog again is, there. Fog is making fifth form, no tech skill. Wow, this is strange. He's, seems like he's confused right now, I think. Yeah, there is still no attempt of an expansion. Of course, he buys some time. Foggy now okay. tries. He's going for expansion right now. Ah, okay, oh. with only militia. Yeah, he, he, here is Boots. So he can get away, but the creeps are awake and the Archmage dies to the oh. creeps. This is very bad, man. But it's only level 1 Archmage and he stole so much time from the warden getting to level 3. Yeah, but no expansion, no nothing. Oh. I don't know how smart this is. Yeah, no blacksmith or something to to try to turn this around. And in the meantime, Foggy, without an expansion, going to tier 2. He, he builds the Huntress Hall. And yeah, not so much time until we see the bears. And Hawk still on level 1. He needs mass towers, I think. It's, it's so hard to... To build up an expansion right now. Yeah, especially if the Warden gets level 3 fast and with the uh, Shadow yeah. Strike, of course, she needs a little more mana. Maybe walk or staff back to heal up, but then she comes back with uh, full force after a green creep spot or something. And that's gonna be hard, so finally level 2 for the Archmage as well. Let's see what the Warden is capable of doing here. One peasant already... Oh, he saves him. Nice. The Ogre Magi went to the Archmage, the item as well. So not very successful from the Warden here. The Warden stole the, the Berserker and Troll. So this is so crazy, man. Three, three Shadow Priests for Foggy, two Berserkers. So no Waters. Yeah, they all get dispelled, plus yeah. the damage output from, from the Berserker. Wow. This is so hard for Fog, man. No. I don't see the... But and Naga. Yeah, Naga obviously the best hero now at this situation, picking up unit after unit. But especially in a situation where you're down, shouldn't you be like keeping tabs on the mercenary camp and get them all as, as soon as you can? You see? This is what we told you. This is not bad, not the stress. What a great, great play by Foggy. He cancelled all the plans that uh, Hawk had. And he's still trying to go for that expo or something. He's building a lumber mill right now. And he has some gold for an expo. But he needs units as well, so... Uh, I said this before, but I don't see him coming back. But the Warden is still not level 3, so there might be a small choice uh, chance. Good micro by Hawk saving that peasant. Yeah, and he just researched defense. Okay, yeah, super important, super important. But there is level 3 now. He's calling Militia, he's coming in with the footman. Level 2, oh uh, no, level 1 uh, water elemental still. But Our Archmage is still level 2. Oh, double surround on the Berserkers! What a great move by Hawk, but the Archmage is in trouble. He has to. Uh, Get rid of Arkmage. that surround. Archmage is dead. Well, still ticking. Oh, 30 oh. HP, oh. I think he will get away. 15, yeah, it's not ticking anymore. He gets away with 16 HP. And the Berserkers, I think they're all dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, wow. What a great move by Hawk. Double surround and saving this Archmage. Level 3 and a third now. But still, there's no expansion, and as a human, of course, you know that. It's super hard against Night Elf without Expo. And what is the Archmage supposed to do now? Just sitting on, in, on a random place on the map and waiting for... Yeah, did, did, did Foggy buy the staff? Foggy. No, he didn't. But, yeah. He needs the staff, and then healing. But it's daytime, yeah, yeah. the creeps That's are awake. Can't. Okay, he's pulling the, the water to get. Yeah. Nice. Here's, here's the staff. The warden has a shadow strike. He needs a potion real quick. But he uses the scroll of regeneration. Risky move, but it works for now. 
Okay, Cork is building blood mage. That's a pretty smart place. Yeah, against the warden. The usual choice. We uh, saw that introduced, uh, reintroduced by re reprisal, of course. Yeah, he's so smart player, man. He always, in any any time, he knows what to do. Yeah, especially with the blood mage. His blood mage controls is so sick. But Foggy this time trying to go for a tower rush. He knows his. Uh, Advantage is really really big. There's n no rifleman for Hawk. There's nothing he can do So far still The arc mage healing up and getting some mana back perfect timing to build some towers. I don't see how how Hawk can Come back from this Well, we said in game one that we don't see him winning with the rifle push maybe yeah, but this is different <laughs> yeah. Okay, now the Blood Mage is out, trying to suck the Naga dry, but yeah, he's kind of trapped outside the base, so lots of damage to the Blood Mage, not a long life he lived. Down he goes, and now why, the first... Why, why he didn't, why he didn't uh, put the early point inside the base with I don't know. Blood Mage? Maybe the range is not enough for Sif and Mana? And you wanted to do something with him? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Okay, two engine protectors, only one tower, so they can just uh, move wherever they want. Is there a repair wisp? No, but they can of course eat trees. No space to build the mortars. Oh yeah, too bad. Oh yeah, this is bad. And Foggy is expanding at the natural of Hawk. What a dick move. <laughs> yeah. Throw, throw move. Yeah. Well, that's how he rolls. He likes to yeah. do that. Okay, now with the staff, the Blood Mage repositioned, immediately transferring the mana to get more water elementals. But there's so much range, man. So much range damage. And he even Still. blocks with the Ancient Protector, so the human cannot attack the Dryads. Still can't build the workshop because of the space. Yeah, he, right next to the gold mine, maybe on the right side. Mm, I don't think so. You see, he, he's telling that. Oh, okay. Uh, you see a lot of space, but there is no. Okay, he can't build there because the mine is uh, so close. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, without tier two, it is of course pretty hard. So Foggy takes the second map here. And it's 1-1. One, one. So it looked kind of good for Hawk in the beginning where he lured the Warden away so she couldn't level. But afterwards was just complete demolition by Foggy. Hawk, Hawk plan was uh, to try to kill some Wisps and to prevent fast tier 2 from uh, Warden and level 2 and to creep the expansion with militia but that plan fall apart and uh, after that he just lo lost that's that's it i see okay next map is last refuge hawk's uh, favorite map he always states that and he has a crazy winning percentage of like 83 percent or something on lr on this map yeah in general, so not only against uh, Night Elves, but in general. Okay. Okay, I am there. Alrighty, then let's see. Hawks this time yellow. One, one. Okay, we can go in game. No, 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 no. no. Okay, all right. I am ready. Yeah, I just misclicked and the video started playing again, so slightly slightly confusing, but yeah. uh, you will have another flawless uh, countdown from me. So here we go in three, two, one, go. Last Refuge, as we mentioned before, it is in the upper and the lower left. We have Hawk in yellow uh, playing as the human with the Archmage first, and uh, Scout Form here in the upper right. We have Foggy with the Demon Hunter this time. No Warden, but he's relying on his old friend, the usual stuff for the Night Elves. 
I think uh, on this map, Foggy should creep the, the shop. Foggy? Foggy, yeah, because until Hulk finish the, this green small camp, he can't do much about that. So, and in that time Foggy could get uh, two monsters and that big difference. Yeah, that's maybe true. But he's following it up with the immediate uh, harass here with the demon hunter. He got the circlet, so perfect, uh, perfect scenario for him. More HP, more damage, more everything, and now he tries to kill as much militia as possible. I don't think he will be there in time if he creeps the shop. Or will he? No, 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 no. He he would he wouldn't, but yeah, he would gain a lot of. Uh, and that's the most important thing I think in this because if, if ah you mean, you mean the merc yeah. camp and not the, the uh, yeah, shop yeah. ah I see yeah. and uh, if he can crown the expo a bit more he can win this game easily but okay. if he don't do any damage on ex on expansion it's, it's very bad for him yeah, I think it's kind of risky because you take so much hits probably and it takes some time and he really wants to to disturb him as early as as possible with the expansion yeah but let's see what you want to do right now get some last hits maybe here and there on the magi and he got the trapper right did he no no oh. he did he got the water he got the water elemental and, oh, and that's all not burning the magi mm -hmm. This is this is not the best push. Yeah, looks good for Hawk so far. Five uh, footmen already, and the demon hunter took a lot of hits. He needs to get back, heal up. But there is a very fast tag for Foggy. A player's forces are under attack. But Hawk is preparing himself with the first tower and defense. Yeah, and you see, this is. This is bad for Foggy. He he did nothing in this push, and now Hawk knew that Foggy gonna make a lot of archers, and he is countering with defend. Yeah, defend really really strong. Hawk kinda reintroduced this um, before WEC last year, I think. To play a lot with defend, and it works really really good. Yeah, def def defend is really good thing against Night Elf. And even if you, even if Knight of Go counters in late game versus Giant is good. Yeah, right, exactly. So they fulfill a purpose there. So in the meantime, yeah. there's nothing that Foggy is doing against the expansion. Now the tower is already up, so he can't do shit with emulation or something. And he needs to rely on his A click. Okay, Foggy lost one archer and. With the rest of two, he's bringing them home and trying to get some damage. Yeah, they can't, they can't help now with the rest at the expansion. But the Demon Hunter is doing a fairly good job here. Two corpses on the ground. Uh, two more may follow. But now he's he's blocking oh, nice, now. Nice, and the nice. Nice micro. Yeah, he saved the two damaged uh, peasants there. So the Demon Hunter couldn't attack. Oh. Hawk could easily surround that DH right now, but... Uh, he's going for the panda, but yeah. he's too fast as well. So, Foggy is on tier 2. Double engine of lore. I think he'll attack to tier 3 immediately. And Hawk's still on tier 1, of course, because of the expo. Are and more creeping. Level 3 I is think, needed. I think Foggy should go... Right, uh, right now all in, because Fog has no car tower and that's a big deal for Night Elf. All in with what? With a guard tower? Uh, with with uh, with towers or how? No, no, no. With just with units and I think Panda was the bad choice. He should okay. go Naga. Now yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, but I think Hawk. Uh, uh, um, Foggy wants to go into late game, yeah. and then of course the panda is a good choice if you're able to get past the lines of breakers. 
Lots of scouting here. Tier 3 yeah. is started for Foggy, as we mentioned. Foggy scouting, scouting with Erosion. Yeah. So the early game for Hawk went pretty well, right? Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Foggy killed like maybe 3 4 pounds, but that, that's nothing. Yeah, only 40 XP on the Panda. He needs level 3 as quickly as possible. That Butterfly was kind of good. But he wants a level 3 panda plus a fight before uh, the first line of breakers are out and that's gonna be that's gonna be hard to achieve. But maybe with the first dryad and dispel now he can do some damage. Yeah, but you need to retreat because of the edge. Yeah, exactly. He's too damaged. Hawk did a good job in uh, keeping him low. <clears throat> so he has to retreat and of course defend does his uh, part. T2 for Hawk. Kind of finished, and then we see mass casters in the same time. Foggy almost ready attack. with the tier 3 with the shop and staff and whatever plus boots. So, apart from harassing the expansion more, it looks pretty good for Foggy as well. I think he didn't lose that much. The Archmage is barely level 3, not too many towers. It's still an yeah, open game. But, but I think he needs to have counter expansion against Pog. I don't know if he can pull out to fight without expansion against Yeah. Texas. Yeah, that's right. But he, it seems like he, he favors the, the fast Master Bears over the expansion. Look how many ho uh, towers Hulk made in on expansion. Wow. It's like 4 and... And he still has 500 gold. Yeah, and like 10 footmen. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. He invested so much, still I has never, a bank. I never have gold against that bank, <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, Mountain King second hero, obvious choice against this with a stun. And yeah, now he's moving towards the mercenary camp. Not the. Not the natural expansion, no tree of life in the build. And yeah, nice move by Hawk, dropping with the Zeppelin, going for the gold mine. There's not much that Foggy can do right now. He's trying to repair, but the Wisps, yeah, what can they do? Yeah, Hawk knows that Foggy needs to retreat with even one hero to defend this gold mine. So he's just wasting time trying to gain some time. Yeah, but it's a good uh, it's a good thing that th that the panda can now uh, creep his way up to level three without the yeah, demon it's hunter. Very, it's very important to do, but the H also needs some experience. Yeah, but he is level three already, so I think he has the most important stuff re already. Yeah. He's going for it again. I think he, if he continues yeah. this like three or four times, then he will kick the entangled gold mine once. Seems like expansion of Foggy gonna, gonna die, I think. Uh, there is a good amount of repair. Maybe you should just get rid of the Wisps first. But, oh, oh yeah, it is man. gonna go down. Oh boy, but the Zeppelin! The Zeppelin is this dead, so he needs to use the Town Portal. After losing this, two footmen. This is big, man. Uh, Hawk has all the time in the world to, to gather gold from two gold mines. Foggy not even mining from one. Hawk has a lot of time to heal up now to get his <laughs> units out. We see double arcane sanctum. And the blacksmith is ready, so mortar teams are not that far Players away. Forces are under yeah, and he, he should start. Yeah, he started to, to upgrade. He thinks right now, is which is very good. Yeah, Lumber Harvesting and Towers as well. Level 2 Masonry Upgrade. Four more Towers in the base. I'm wondering if he's gonna wait for like 150... 1,100 money or just yeah. on gold or just gonna push right now. So let's see. Now I think he's in a position where he can just get um, back to the base and and kind of hide there when the attack comes because the towers will do so much damage and so he can bank wow for uh, tome of experience for the mountain king immediately level 2 
Okay, this is lucky game for Fox, so no more luck. <laughs> well, maybe Foggy catches up with a big item here. Helm of Vela. Nah. Not that great. Still plus 11 damage on the Demon Hunter. It's not that bad. And a level 4 yeah. Pendant Brewmaster. Fox is going to cancel the. Yeah, great timing once again. That was very important. Foggy kind of forgot the 50% uh, of his army. And we see the first breakers, we see the first mortar teams, we see the adept upgrade for the... Oh, second expansion by Foggy. Or second attempt, at least. <laughs> yeah. So upgrades on both sides, Hawks still... Oh no, now he pushed into upkeep. And yeah, I'm still waiting for my mod teams. Ah, there it is, there's the first one. But that's... Nice, nice placement, nice placement for, for workshop. Where is it? I can't find it. It's behind. The ah, there. there! Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, that's right. Foggy so put uh, another attempt. <laughs> <laughs> to yep, there it is. So this is uh, kind of moon style. Building as much expansions as you can. One or two will go through. Oh, shit! Katka's pipe of insight for the night elf. So much regeneration. This is so important. Yeah, this is uh, getting equal now for the Tomb of Experience. Yeah, but Panda just got Archmage Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. So creeping for the nice. human gets very easy, huh? Nice items from Mountain King, the like, best items. Oh yes, Robe of the Magi, I didn't see that, but... Uh, Big heal potion as well. He will get level 3 here. Plus the mana stone! Jesus! Yeah. This mountain king is like... So strong. It's like... MC Hammer throwing them left, right and center. And... What is he? Oh, Hawk is switching to Blizzard, I see. Oh, nice. I really like that. We see it too rarely, I think. Yeah, I, I, I see that Joss like to, to yeah. switch to Blizzard. Uh, and he does also. really well with it. Yeah. So 80 foot versus 55, well, that's bad. Yeah. But, but Foggy invested a lot in his uh, three expansions now. <clears throat> yeah, and this is very good position for Hawk right now. Uh, he has to fight upkeep. But it is kind of... Okay, this indeed looks good for him, man. The casters are all safe and the mortar teams as well. Nice breath of fire though, but the footmans are just... Uh, he'll just feed him. Very good position, very good. Wow, he blocks with everything. There's no chance for the panda to get to the casters. The breath of fire barely hits them. The mortar teams just splash the giants away. Boom, you see it splattering everywhere. Stormbolt to the Demon Hunter once again. There is no healing. Inbu Potion being swapped. Here comes Clap. Panda uh, is there, but the Mountain King takes the big Inbu Potion. Demon Hunter Inbu Potion as well. Maybe the Mountain King in problems now, but there is another Inbu Potion. Uses it right away, and Foggy has to retreat so fast now. Okay, those towers remind me of Humico. <laughs> That's right, he always builds them to, to fall back into it. To yeah. have like a safe place to go to. Yeah, Foggy can never take this fight and he needs to buy some time to get the expo working. Somehow the expansion in the lower right got cancelled as well. I'm not sure how and when. In the lower right, I didn't see that Foggy put the expansion there. Yeah, he, he tried. Oh. But now all he has is uh, the expo in the upper left, <clears throat> so they are kind of equal. But this 
this blizzard were, were great, the stun were great, the position with the breakers and, and militia were great. I think Hawk couldn't have done any better in this fight. Food, food difference is just too big, man. Yeah. And I'm not sure if, if Foggy cancelled the expansion or it, it got destroyed. But if he cancelled no. it... That's weird. So Hawk is Hawk starting to put the towers yeah. on that expansion. Yeah, he saw it, towering it now. Oh boy, this looks very, very grim for Foggy. Yeah, Two ones good. getting closer and closer. He invested all into army right now, producing more bears. One dryad. But if Hawk can fight there, once again, a great position for him. He's trying to get the panda from the other side in. But that fails as well. And Hawk does not want to leave his narrow position. This is so good. Yeah. You just need to fight in those positions. Hawk is going for territory. For fragments on markers. So. Okay. Ah, oh, there so it is. Yeah, you're slightly ahead of me, I'll just catch up. Okay, looks like he wants to fight again. Yeah. Now, way better first position for Foggy. Yeah, but still, mortar teams and uh, the cast is well hidden behind... Okay, this is a great scenario for the panda now, but he gets away. Archmage kinda blocked there, Breath of Fire, Drunken Haze, Archmage in problems, Heal Scroll being used, but more damage coming in! So much damage, but 50 oh, HP, yeah. and the one tower scares Foggy away, he can't fight in that narrow position there. Foggy is playing perfectly this one. This is really crazy, he picks up unit after unit, so much damage. And level 4.5 Archmage, level almost, yeah, 3 and three quarters on the Mountain King, he feels so safe right now. And there's nothing to stop the Blizzard. There's no disable, there's nothing. He always puts a lot of space between him and the units. Okay, once again it's time for the Panda to pressure the Archmage, maybe this comes through. But the Demon Hunter is in problems as well, there's another Storm Bolt, there's a Town Portal and it staffs away. I thought he might get there in time, but no. Level 5 on the panda, though. Ah, is the panda enough? Foggy has 1,700 gold, but no lumber at all. Yeah, he just bought the shadow. Yeah, that's that's good. He needs that, definitely. It staffs him away, even. But Hawk got the second expansion up. And I don't think Foggy knows about this. A player's forces are under attack. Fog is in big trouble, man. I don't see how he can come back from this. If Hawk, I don't know, forgets to buy heal scrolls and his panda gets a yeah, great and, position. And, with... Yeah, and go Africa in, in, in fight, maybe. AFK. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's very unlikely that Foggy's gonna win this, but with a level 5 Panda, there's still some kind of a chance somehow if he catches yeah. him off guard or something. But this is so good from uh, from Hawk to position the tower there, so he will always see when, when Foggy tries to go for the second expansion attempt. Yeah. Hawk just starts to, to build Paladin and... Fragment on Martyrs. Man, nice. this fragment this... is so strong. This is one of the best upgrades, I feel. Yeah, and maybe Inner Fire is also good, but... Yeah. yeah, but it's just plus 5 damage, so I don't think it's that important. Yeah, but, but with 5 armor. Yeah. That's right. But in this scenario, with... with uh, so few dryads, wouldn't Polymorph be an option? Yeah, could be. That would be cool to see, but I think Hawk is not the player to go for that. 
Ooh, fragmentation shards. We'll see them in effect really, really soon. And there are four mortar teams. Two zero upgrades. Two two on the breakers. And 88 supply for four. Yeah, 20 food ahead. Wow, the positioning of the mortar teams. Oh. This is so good. It's vision and damage and everything. Oh boy, Foggy has no clue what to do against this. He's trying to get in with a panda. But no, he blocks himself. He sends the bears there? No, it's just egg or whatever. Wow, the drunken haze dispelled immediately. So good. Well, now he has to fight without the mortar teams. That's not good. Yeah, but, but I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's just too much. Yeah, right. yeah. The blizzard damage, level 3 blizzard. You see him coming down. This is so crazy. Everything is low, there's no heal scroll, there's nothing for Foggy to save his units. The mortar team still alive, more area of effect damage and he just lost his entire I army. Think, I think Fog didn't full single units. Yeah, 88, I think so too. All the big corpses here come from the bears. They're slow on everything, level 5 on the Mountain King. Stormboat! Oh wow, he saves the panda. But yeah, wow. What a performance by Hawk. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Yep, this is just for the Lules. Here it is, and Hawk takes the 2 1 advantage in this Jera Cup final 30. I don't know how. Uh, can you play much, much better? Than they did here, uh, than uh, than Hawk did. I don't think so. Oh, me neither. I, I don't think so. Perfect timing on his own expansion. Perfect timing on his opponent's first expansion. Then scouting well enough to to not let Foggy do his moon game with all the expansions, but canceling one uh, one after another. Absolutely. Crazy. I think I think Foggy before the game was clueless what to do on this map. To be honest. I don't know. Just he was just don't don't have any plan against this. Yeah. Well, we have to admit that it is Hawk's best map, and so uh, this yeah kind of a free win for him. He knows this map inside out. So yeah. I I thought best map for him is Amazonia, but I was wrong. Yeah. Uh, according to my statistics, it's definitely uh, it's definitely last refuge. Yeah. But yeah, my streaming program has this bug again, so I have to restart real quick. Okay. Come on, close it. At the same time, you can <laughs> do like, I don't know, you can hurt human. With a lot of good scouting, you can prevent expansion and then go straight to the and use bears and stuff. So, uh, colors are wrong again. Do, 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 two, one. Okay, we can start okay. if you're yeah. ready. If you don't yeah. have any more talking to do, uh, talking to do. <laughs> I don't care. <hear> <laughs> All right. So. Let's start this in three, two, one, go. In the upper left, ladies and gentlemen of Jera Cup uh, 30, map number four, we have Foggy as the yellow night elf on this part with the demon hunter once again. Too bad, man. I thought uh, he would go for a warden for sure. I think uh, he knew that Funk expected the warden, so he switched. That's my theory. But yeah, I that's think, right, but... I think uh, when Night Elf creeps this, this camp, you need to tower as human. You need wow. to tower yeah. as human. I've rarely seen that before. Only I was, I'm the only human in Europe who is towering lately, I think, against <laughs> Night Elf. Unique atheist P, yeah. I'd, uh, like towering right away? If yeah, you yeah, see it, right now. Okay. You yeah, I think Hawk is, Hawk is not you that kind of a player. Yeah, he never towers. Yeah. But 
but other humans are doing, like Joss is something doing. Yeah, sometimes with a rifle push, I think, but on tier 1 it's, it's super rare nowadays. Oh, Hawk almost losing a peasant here, but yeah. Very risky taking that creep spot as well, but of course, access to the mercenary camp, super important. Potion of mana, great item for a Hawk here. Yeah, Footman, Footman almost stole the the Archmage script. Okay. Um, but Foggy took it with mana burn. So very <laughs> okay. Rune Bracers for the Demon Hunter. Nice against the Mountain King later on. And Foggy going for a Huntress Hall. Not a fast tech, but more secure with Huntress. So why is... Oh, Fo <gasps> Foggy is making Tree of Life. He's making expansion down there. Ah, yeah, here in the lower left, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and Hawk, is Hawk is pulling militia. Oh, He's counts. expecting something like this. But Foggy is kind of tricking him because I think Hawk expected that he would expand here. Yeah. And, and so he buys some time. And Foggy bought the Merce. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Two mercs for Foggy, only one merc for Hawk, but the engine of war is down. No more production for Foggy at the moment. And Foggy, of course, needs to win this game to stay alive. I keep the chance alive for 100 I bucks. I don't think this is a great idea for Hawk to destroy the Age of War and lose so much time with Pierre and Ghost. Let's see. He's still at tier 1. Nothing. Yeah, Tarina's. Is another map where you don't really see a tier Rainbow one expansion? Pass, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah, most likely rifle caster. So tier two by Hawk. Did he scout the expansion already? No, he didn't. Nah, no, no vision on that part of the map. But this he needs. Is why to I like to hmm? this is why I like. Uh, this is why I like to send the footman around the map and scout every place. Yeah. This is why I like to. Do. Yeah, but I think if you see that he's still tier 1, if you see that he didn't expand there, then you kind of think that it, that there must be an expansion somewhere? I think so, but I don't know. A player's forces are under attack. If, if, ha if Hawk found the expansion this time, he could destroy the expansion. Yeah, that's then, right. That's right. So he has no clue about it. And then he, is, he has big advantage if he destroys it. Okay, Foggy with the first Shredder, that will aid him a lot in the defense. But here comes Hawk with the six footman already, plus the Berserker, Demon Hunter stepping in. But there's no Hunters, nothing to help him here except the Shredder. Yeah, but for the Archmage as well, here there is still the big potion of mana, but he will not uh, use it here, of course. Just a distraction push or something to gain some time, but he does he some fairly good damage to the Archmage. No boots actually, for him. He actually used the pendulum. Oh yeah, 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 he did. <laughs> I didn't expect this, no. but uh, yeah, the Archmage with the boots now himself, so he will be able to get away. Not enough mana to burn for the kill. I, I really can't see how Hulk can fight in late game against expansion without it. No, me neither. Maybe he can do some fancy stuff with the uh, Zeppelin drops or something? Maybe. Oh, nice. Nice block, but he didn't. I didn't do it. Okay, Foggy tried it again. Now forcing the town portal. Okay, I think now Hawk saw the expansion. Yeah, at least he assumes it because uh, the mercenaries were there to yeah. creep it. Foggy is losing another move now, or maybe not. No. Uh, close, wow. Anyway. That was really close. But the Shredder did some good job here. You think this would have been better with the Warden first? Uh, I don't think so. 
he can defend so easily with more than first. Okay, we have to enter the Valor. And uh, no immediate tier 3 tag, but I think Player it's gonna follow us soon under. once he's mining but here in the gold mine. The first combination is Warden level 3 and Pendant of Mana. It's like. Oh. Yeah. That's right. So, Arcane Sanctum power build. And the first rifle's coming. But yeah, I really don't see Hawk this time. Maybe if he gets this demon hunter, but the surround. Well, that's the staff, of course. There's no Stormbolt available. Because he used it early on. So once again, Hawk down to his rifle casters. And yeah, you mentioned which is not so good no, at this position in this position. But let's see, maybe he can pull this off. So why didn't he go for a counter expansion? Because his tech would be so uh, late. You mean foggy? Uh, no, I mean hawk. Uh, because if he went for counter expansion, he would be out of resources for okay. sources yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. bad choice, I think. Okay, makes sense. Oh, Foggy bought the second shredder, and he gets away with his apple. And wow. So I think uh, I think he's thinking now if he can push the expansion, kill the expansion, and then make his own expansion. But I don't know if that's gonna work. Nah, I don't think so too. But it's still kind of untouched, except for the. Oh crane. man, this is so annoying. Oh, there's only one tower. And he will manage to save the Zeppelin, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, so we can see some fancy nice. uh, Zeppelin micro from Foggy here. Wow, with 13 HP. Well, the fireball came in but didn't do damage. Haha! <laughs> Flew all the way on the other base. Mass repair now on the Zeppelin. Why is he? Why is he making separation to war in base? Uh, maybe just for protection for a tower rush. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Because he knows that he's so far ahead now, with the expansion against no expansion, that he can afford it, and he's even building a second expo. But it makes. Oh. Separate. Okay. There it is. That's a good choice. But okay, here it is. Boom! And down goes the expo. Well done by Hawk. Yeah, yeah, nice move. But of course we see the second expansion building up right now. And Hawk still not tell tree. And the harass continues with two shredders this time. I mentioned this before. We I looked at this base. Yeah, right? he has to to pull them all away, losing so much mining time. And now even the the one tower is gone. That two shredders they do so much damage. Shredder is stronger than hero, man. Yeah, I, I think they do kind of the exact same damage than a bear. So this is really good, but maybe Foggy invested too much in, in Zeppelin and two Shredders? Yeah, and second expansion from Foggy. Yeah. He's trying to rebuild it. Still no expansion attempt from uh, from Hawk. Oh, he, he knows exactly what to do. He just needs to slow down Hawk, not to attack soon and then get mass, mass units and attack. Yeah. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, Mari the Mud Golem. In the game, our mascot. Okay, this time Hawk is a little better prepared the with the units nearby the base. So Foggy is just waiting for, for the good timing, but of course he gets the time that he needs here. Hawk tries to yeah. scout, but, but the Dryad catches the footman. This is the whole point. Distracting the enemy. Yeah. And he gets so much time off of Hawk right now. You know what Hawk could, could do? He could make the uh, hidden workshop and get two helicopters and then just destroy the yeah. temple. Yeah, but it takes so much time. Yeah. But once I did that and succeeded with it, killed yeah. everything in temple <laughs> and he just quit game. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe it's time for a counter expansion now. Again, a tomb of experience, man. Lots of them today. Yeah, so second lucky game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw, yeah, the, the pendant of uh, the, the mana potion before, and now rune bracers. Okay, he can sell that. But if the one second that he left his base, Foggy is there with the zeppelin, dropping in. Trying to do some damage there, here. There is Moody, you see? Yep, Muddy the Mud Golem, everybody. <laughs> Slowing down the workers, and he may even survive this uh, this attack. And big damage for Muddy. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his best. But no, he didn't save them with his Zeppelin. Oh man, Foggy, what are you doing? Now you have to lose. Losing Muddy is instant loss. <gasps> Oh boy, the Zeppelin once again, lower oh, HP and step Oh man, what a move, what a move, man. And he lost the town portal as well, but level 4 on the demon is there already. Hawk is totally confused, he has like 8 pounds of gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's now getting... And he knows about the second expansion! Coming in again, um, but no zapper this time, so this will take uh, quite a few time to tear it down. And Foggy m is going for the attack again. He says, Oh, I don't care about this expo, I got another one. Why bother? Then Hawk just left the expansion and went to, to main day. Nice movement from, from Foggy here, kiting. So only losing one, I think that's okay for that scenario. And here comes the Zeppelin again, the with a Berserker and a Shredder. This time it's ah. two towers, but yeah. I think those Arcane Towers in Fog Days are useless right yeah. now against Shredder. Exactly, yeah, I think so too. Maybe one Arcane Tower, one Guard Tower or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but Foggy is losing Shredder and the Berserker. And in the meantime, Hawk is attacking the Expo. 2-0 Rifleman, there's an... Is there a Town Portal? There is a Town Portal and he has to use it. No, Zeppelin. But he's so far away, the Demon Hunter can never join the fight. He will lose the Expo. He does a great job killing the Expos here. Yeah, but Foggy has another one, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, but he's not mining that much. Zeppelin is gone, town portal again, so Hawk does it, uh, pulled some gold off of Foggy, second town portal in like two minutes, that's 700 gold, and he's only mining with four wisps in the lower left expansion. I can still Superman, <laughs> level 6 this game because of solo the age oh yeah he gets some bonus xp from tier 3 level four and a half already but it's not real open fights but only uh, small skirmishes here and there and hawk is going for the expo once again this time i feel foggy has to defend this otherwise there is no other i don't think he gonna tp uh, no he's he's going for the keep so kind of like base trade with four bears here Oh yeah, that's good. Rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter. Bear's coming in. Hawk has to TP and he does it. But he killed the Expo. And if he can scare Foggy away, yeah, he TPs. The keep stays alive. And all of a sudden, the economy advantage of Foggy is gone. Yeah. So slowly but steady, Hawk comes back into this game. Even though he had to play rifles before. A player's forces are under attack. Is now the time to go for an own expansion? No, right? Because of the bears? Seems like Foggy will again go to, to base the race. Yeah. He's building two trees of life. 
Yeah, Foggy started again to build the expansion. Losing so much resources. A player's forces are under attack. Attack. Yeah, but I think once again he thinks, okay, if I build two expansions at the, at the same time, then one of them will come through. Because Hawk won't have the time to attack both at the same time. And in the meantime, he slaughters one person after another. Let's compare the main gold mine 3100 to 2470. So 600 gold advantage for Foggy in the main base. Once again, call to arms being used, but the Demon Hunter is so strong. So why no guard towers? Because no longer mill. Ah, yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> I see. Yeah. I'm just wondering why Hulk, Hulk didn't use the invisible portion and just wait till Foggy use the stuff teleportation and then throw the bolt. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. It's not that expensive, right? 100. No, no, it's one one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hawk once again going for the expo, searching for the best position possible. So rearranging the units here, but in the meantime, the expansion in the upper left is ready. Now untangling. So there's nothing Hawk can do about that. But let's see how the attack works. For him, searching for the narrow positions once again, but... Level 5, level 5 on the edge. Okay, now he needs to kill units to get more experience. The Zeppelin won't last that long, I feel. And here comes the damage. What's the Archmage doing? Kind of, I don't know, scouting, dis distracting or whatever. But yeah, Foggy is losing this expansion once again. Yeah, but... It's worth it, I think, because second expansion is yeah, working. Yeah, exactly. So, he's dropping in again. Maybe, is he going for the keep or for the workers? Not for nothing. Once again, he's going for the... Yeah, he has to, I feel, but... This is so annoying, man. <laughs> A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, it's going for the workers. Now the bear is attacking the keep. Zero, zero upgrades. Town portal comes in. Demon Hunter far away from the army. This might be the chance with slow and bold exactly to pick up some units. He can't use the Zeppelin because they instantly die. So 40 second place in two bears for, for extra expansion. Oh, and he might even lose the third one. Here comes the Zeppelins, but one snipe, two snipes, boom! Hindenburg style. Wow, what a what a troll expo now. At Hawks at Hawks main base, uh, main expo. Foggy picked up so many so much experience it's at Hawks base with just the eight. Yeah, just that's just killing the peasants, man. I don't really know if he killed the rifleman or whatever. It's just passes one after another. Yeah. Look, he can even kill the DH with Sarkmage. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Stormbolt would be worth everything now. But yeah, another town portal. But Hog is well aware of the expansion there. And I'm trying to snipe that one down. He's losing another rare players. Yeah, I think he can afford it over the long run, because he's not mining that much. He's investing so much in his expansion all the time, and he keeps on losing he just, them. He just wants level 6 on the 8, I think. Yeah, that might be true. And then just wreck the army with the splash damage and stuff. Oh, there's no town portal on the Mountain King. This is the time to fight now. Repair coming in, he might save the expansion. Level 5 on the MK already. But what's it worth if he's dead? He tries to get away, there is boots, but constant yeah. slow from the Dryads. Can he swap something? Mana burn? Oh boy, town portal. He needs to use it, and he uses it right now. 
Oh, 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 oh. Repositioning here everything, but now, okay, the expansion is still alive. The riflemen all separated Fork. from the army. Fork forgot the army, yeah. Yeah. And he forgot to send them away, or he, he, he wanted the expansion so bad. This is over, man. <laughs> no chance, no. Uh, can he save them somehow with slow? He tries it. But, oh, he lost so much. And the demon hunter. One kill away. This is. This is. <laughs> and there it is. Metamorphosis. The D Chuck Norris is real. <laughs> Ah, this is gonna be so hard now for Hawk. He did such a good job keeping the expansions down. And what do you feel when you see an expansion like this? It's just pure no, hate. I, I just, I just want to quit the game. <laughs> but in finals like this, of course I, I won't quit. But you, but you never reached the finals, so. Yeah, until now, <laughs> until now. But, yeah. We'll see it on October th uh, 23rd, that you yeah. do so well. Okay! You know, what, hmm? you know what would be throw move? To enter the finals in that and then just quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Foggy going for the kill with the ultimate of the Demon Hunter clap, slowing him down a bit, buying some time. But of course the bear's all dizzy. So it's more time that... that uh, Hawk is getting here. Mountain King level 5 is a big weapon, but is it enough to kill the Demon Hunter? I personally don't think so, but we'll see. I think Hawk should say to Foggy, okay, you have three expansions. Let me give you a chance to give, <laughs> give you four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he comes in and Hawk is focusing on all the bears. He, he does a fairly good job with it. Killing two bears now, third bear is coming, Mountain King so low on mana, Demon Hunter back in normal form, but of course the cooldown is not that much, so in the next fight he will definitely go for it again, level 5 on the Archmage just now, so maybe with mass teleport he can win this later, but of course he needs to survive this one and so far he's doing a great job. Hulk has only one pound on, on gold. Oh boy. But he survived, and he killed a lot. But at the moment, yeah, oh boy, it's three expansions against zero. And there's only yeah. 400 gold left in Hawk's mine. So Foggy he needs... Has, hmm? Foggy has some good problems. Yeah, two... Th yeah. <laughs> 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 well, the two shredders did a good job. Yeah. In fighting and, and harvesting. So you think with mass teleport... You can win this game? No, I don't think so. Even if you constantly kill the trees? No, man, uh, with, with mortars maybe, but... Yeah, it takes too much time probably with Rapid Man. Yeah, uh, no chance because two expansions, level 6, the almost level 7. It's almost... Okay, Hawk got the first one. Two to go. But the Demon Hunter is getting ready. And first he need to reach level 6 with the Harley. Yeah, that's right. It's a long, it's a long road. Yeah, it's a long road. Till then. The ultimate is up in 17 seconds. He has an Invo Potion, the Anti-Magic Potion and a Heal Potion. So he has everything he needs. And here comes the Night Elf. Metamorphosis, come on, give it to me. Oh, well, he wants the perfect scenario. And pop it! Come on! Well, he doesn't use it. Okay, there it is. And now splash damage against the casters and the water teams. Level 7 now. So he gets barely hit by everything. And the chaos damage is just too much for Hawk to handle. He tries to snipe one bear after another, but without mana on the Mountain King, this is so much harder than in the fight before. No towers to aid him. And he's all over the place, man. He needs to move, but in the same time, the bears do damage. And the range attack of the Demon Hunter. He pulls all the militia he has. But at the same time... Hmm? This is silly. Yeah, look at the splash damage, man. I can't... <laughs> I, can't I can't stand anymore to, to hear this militia dying. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, now next target, Mountain King. He gets slowed. And the range attacks from the Demon Hunter come in. He don't care about it. Boom! Down goes the MK. GG from Hawk. And the Archmage would have died too. 27 minutes and once again the 2-2. The equalizer from Foggy in this one. So we will see a second map 5. Really cool. Really cool series as we've seen. And the final map is going to be Crystal Kingdom. It gets vetoed a lot. And we rarely see it. But what do you think about it? What, what can you ask again? I was uh, thinking. Crystal Kingdom. The map. Uh, I, I never played as much. So yeah, I it gets vetoed a lot. Yeah, always vetoed it. A player's so you veto it in letter as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't open that map, that map somehow, I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, for real or? No, for <laughs> now for real. Yeah, I can't. Map could not be found with standard methods. The last possibility would be an executive search page. Yes, to start it, but where did? What? I don't know. Can you send me the map fast or something? Uh, yeah. Okay, just pop a quick break here. Uh, should be the War 3 Arena map, right? Yeah. I got three versions of it. I'll send you all three. So it takes you, I don't know, 15 minutes to download now with the Serbian internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, where should I copy them in? Uh... In maps and the folder uh, War 3 Arena. Okay. So guys, how do, did you like the, the series between Hawk and Foggy? Yeah, it's time to, to take a look at the chat once again. So tell us what you think so far. Who's the guy with the long hair sitting on a couch in Sonic's amazing video? Um, that is what she's rich, yeah. But he doesn't have his uh, long hair anymore. That was so funny because the week before the WCA at Gamescom, I told you that I think that uh, uh, that, that uh, War Chief has short hair now. And you said, like, never, never, never. He has long hair. He never changes. And then we sent the picture. And I said, told you, buddy. He has short hair now. And he looks, <laughs> he, he looks way better. Yeah. Great play by Foggy. Fantastic game. Nice cast. Thank you, Staked. Thanks, man. I've already convinced my brain that the tournament is live, so it's much fun for me. <laughs> nice, Molly and Lucy. Wow, you really need 30 seconds to download a map. That's so crazy. <laughs> <sighs> Can you show his hair before and after? Yes, I can do that. I'll just need to look up the pictures. On our Facebook side, we all... Are... You, do... hmm? you don't want to see his hair before, man. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's mean, but yeah, it was like D'Artagnan from The Three Musketeers. <laughs> yeah. But not anymore. Sh Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. exactly. Shakespeare, like this. Okay, where are the pictures? Where's the album? This is it. I got just the picture from the side. Okay. Okay, I got a picture. Use if this works. Yeah, this is Watch Chief before, <laughs> with long hair and stuff. Did they play maybe on other Crystal Kingdom than Warcraft 3 Arena Crystal Kingdom? Mm, I don't know, man. It works for me, but I have my my replay tool. Let me check. Uh, maybe you have to move it to another folder or something. Uh... Yeah, 
It's in... I think you have to put it in the Frozen Throne folder. In which folder? In the Frozen Throne folder. Oh, okay, I will say. That might work. Okay, this is War Chief back then. And then let's see what we have here. Where is this file? Okay, this is War Chief right now with Grubby. So, he got better. This is way better. But still, with the long hair, he scored a girl in China, so it worked for him. <laughs> okay. Two, two. It works now? I, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying last possibility, I don't know what to do. Because Why don't you guys I use... Map. Huh? Because I have that map, I don't know what the problem yeah, is. Yeah, it's really strange. Well, maybe I have to do the last cast alone. That would be a shame, but... Yeah, seems seems like... Now we're gonna do it a lot in the future, so... I think so. That was fun with you. Yeah, so it was fun. We'll quit for now and we see each other yeah. on stream some other day I think we're, yeah. I'll do a lot of casts in the uh, upcoming days and weeks so we'll see you later thanks for joining us yeah. buddy yeah thanks for for calling me or whatever and <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching all of you guys and that's all so see ya other time okay bye bye take Atheist. care bye. bye bye and we start game number 5 here in the Jera Cup finals boom here we go on Crystal Kingdom this time, a really strange map. Uh, I don't know much about it either, because when I play Warcraft I uh, veto it as well, and in Cups it gets rarely played. But this was the map that uh, Phonic and, uh, Phonic, Sonic and Foggy played the infamous Mass Fury Dragons game on. And uh, yeah, I think for an expansion this is a really bad map, so we might see uh, Rifleman once again, because the creep spot is really hard with the Mammoth and the Berserker. The Mammoth is tanking a lot, so... I don't see a human expansion here on this one. <clears throat> yeah, but two important fountains here. Fountain of Mana in the upper right, and another Fountain of Mana, so they spawn randomly, so it could be Fountain of Health as well. Um, yeah, and very, very powerful mercenaries. Guys, you will see this, most likely. These guys are crazy. But Hawk is starting with the, the militia creep here at the laboratory. Maybe, I don't know, scanning or an opportunity for a shredder later. It's always hard, it's, it's also hard to take, but yeah, let's see what Foggy is doing. He is building the engine of war near the expansion, so maybe he is going for that game again that we saw on Tarinas here. Uh, this time with a warden and, and more harass towards the Archmage, most likely. Yeah, Hawk still attacking. And he got the Watch Award, and item is the Cloth of Attack plus 9. This is very beneficial, especially against the Archers. He can do tremendous damage with it. And yeah, no tech, just uh, Foggy running around, searching his opponent, searching the Archmage. And he was looking um, for this expansion here. Oh, nice move, that Sentry Ward there. Stays forever, and he will always have a tap on that one. But I think it's also a very hard map to get level 3 on. You see the Archmage here level 2.5. And, and definitely not going to the, the expansion. Forces are under attack. Boots for the Warden. And finally he finds the Archmage. Uh, she finds the Archmage. No Shadow Strike though. Saving it for later. And yeah, we the see the tech from Hawk and Foggy Space. No tech. This is really surprising. The human teching faster than the Night Elf. And, uh, yeah. I don't see what Foggy is doing. Maybe his game plan fell apart when Hawk didn't go for the expansion. I don't know. But for now, this looks really good for him. Production. Okay, finally there's the tech. But a good advantage here. Let's compare this. It's time for Hawk to get one or two riflemen. 
and do good, good damage. So finally a Shadow Strike, not towards the Archmage, but he wants experience on the Warden because she's still level 1. Good way uh, towards it, and yeah, the Engine of War didn't do much. Uh, not even a single creep with that Engine of War, and that of course slows the Knight of down in his play. A town is under siege. Hawk has good vision, but Sonic has good vision also. Second engine of war by Foggy. Alright. So he invested a lot and didn't even produce that many archers. It's okay, it's five, it is a lot, but not like that you need two engines of war for that. But finally he's chasing the Archmage around. He got boots, so he will get away. Is there another Shadow Strike? Nope, no mana for that. But sooner than later, oh, I just think you should have gotten the footman. It's too many mana to attack. just run after him and wait for that. Oh, nice block. Oh, failed. <laughs> okay, nice idea, but execution not that great. So simultaneously creeping, that's why he leveled up. But in the meantime, Hawk is also... Oh, yeah, town falling here. Getting a lot of HP back through natural regeneration. The sh uh, tower is up. The shop is up, I mean. So he can get regeneration scrolls. So that Archmage will survive. Socklet, nice item for him. Tags to come in. Huntress Hall, again late. I don't know why these Night Elves have problems with the Huntress Hall. Maybe they're deciding so late to not go for talents? I don't know. This is really weird. Players forces are under attack. Okay, now you can see the Mammoth in action. Okay, with five archers, of course, and the Tree of... Uh, uh, the, the Engine of War. It's easy to creep, but... It's a hard spot, nevertheless. So, what's Hawk doing? First Rifleman is out. More creeping. He needs level 3 as soon as possible, especially when there's no Demon Hunter around. And yeah, the answer to the Warden is Blood Mage. Sif and Mana works so well. And then Second Claw. Wow. That Archmage is dangerous, especially for the Archers. <coughs> Double Engine of Law here. And the shop. No fast tier 3. Panda and Brewmaster second. So, yeah. A lot of mana to suck for the Blood Mage. Because two powerful spells here Shadow Strike and Breath of Fire, of course. Well, Hawk is moving out. Two Riflemen, probably most likely the first, uh, first Priest soon. Or is there one already? Nope, there's not. But the Militia is moving out, finishing the job. And mercenary camp creep spot. So maybe we see the big mercs. These are not the usual mercs that we uh, are used to see throughout the years and years of Warcraft. No, no, this is slightly different. Definitely more powerful than the usual ones. So Foggy trying to... Uh, Harass, but completely failed so far. Always searching for the AM and the rest of the army to gain some more experience, but only one shadow strike now, zero shadow strike now. And Hawk is kinda map control, I feel. He's creeping a lot, but this is free XP now for the warden, some, somehow. Okay, Pen and Brewmaster comes in, level 2. But the question is who's getting the Warlord and the uh, the item here. Hawk looks super strong so far. Very sophisticated with his play. Not in a real danger. And I feel that Foggy should have done more damage until now. With the Warden you want to harass all the time. Want to kill workers, want to pick up footmen. To slowly but steady crawl towards level 4, 5, 6, whatever. And he didn't do much. He pulled the the town portal from the Archmage. But that's about it. And now he's waiting, luring for his hero and now storming in. Who gets it? Maybe with Shadow Strike Breath of Fire comes too late. Oh boy! Experience for the Archmage, right? Ah, no, towards the Panda. Alright, Panda and Warden, level 3.5, plus the Flute of Accuracy. Never wrong with Dryads. 
But of course he will transition into bears and then sell them. The three tech is coming closer and closer and that means bears are coming closer and closer. This time he has no Mountain King for the infamous uh, clap Blizzard combo. Yeah, the creeps have Shadow Strike, by the way. So it's not that easy, and Foggy is coming in again. But a little too late this time. Pulling militia, he wants to push this, and yeah, here we see the Furbuck Shaman, 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 <laughs> Shaman. Don't really know what he can do. He can definitely do frost armor. We see it here on the Blood Mage, so he's kind of the babysitter for the Blood Mage. And Foggy is not allowed to fight there. He walks all the way through, A player's force but against all these riflemen, dryads are not the best uh, choice. I feel. This is such a powerful upgrade, man. Plus three armor and the slow, obviously. So Foggy cannot fight. Foggy cannot fight this. And Hawk reigns superior over the map. He needs experience. Very, very much so. Warden and uh, the Fan of Knives Breath of Fire combo can be so strong. Wow, mana push, uh, mana. Uh, Stone, really good. Level 3 and 3. Is he going for Fan of Knives? No, Shadow Strike 2. But now, okay, level 4, maybe now. Yeah, immediately he sh uh, did not skill blink. He waited for that second skill point to use it on Fan of Knives. And this area of effect combo is so strong, but the big if is. How is the Blood Mage performing? He can, over the time, suck both heroes dry, but there's a Mana Potion and a Mana Stone. So Foggy is kind of prepared for this. And now we see the Magic of uh, Fan of Knives 2 down immediately. But now he's kind of trapped. Oh, Breath of Fire. Nice one. Once again, damage dealt to the economy. Is there a Town Portal? Oh, yeah, there's a Town Portal. No Staff, no nothing. He could use a Staff because there's no Mountain King. And the gold peasants erased and town portal out. That was definitely worth it. Distracting the human. Wow, Foggy built two more engines of war. He has three engines of war. He is going mass mass range against riflemen. Okay, here are bears, finally. This is probably, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Static defense, cutting the way off. But yeah, that's a lot of Dryads, man. That's a lot of Dryads for Foggy. Four Dryads. A lot of, of Dispel because he needs more Dispel against the uh, Frost Armor, I believe. We saw before that the Wisps detonate did not work that well. Worked better with Dryads for him. He even has two shops. Foggy's investing so much into his infrastructure. But why? There's only one staff. So let's see. Big creep camp. The big red spot. This might win him the game. And Hawk at the same time. Big invo potion found. <coughs> and heal wards. So his inventory is not bad at all. But yeah, once again he missed. Oh, stone token! This is so good. Stun and not the spellable plus a good amount of damage. Of course he was looking for a potion of divinity or whatever.
But here he comes, going in for the kill. He has three Jewels of the Claw, zero, zero attacks. But he's going for the harass again. But this time, Hawk is town portaling in time. Slow on the Warden, there's no blink, there's no mana. But he saw the stone token now. Four and three heroes for the Russian. Four and three for the Ukrainian Night Elf as well. So this game on a knife's edge, but I think the longer the game goes, the better it is for Foggy. Just because of bears. Four four now. <clears throat> so he has banish. He can disable them. Wow, oh, another engine of war. Or did he pull them back? Ah, he did pull them back, alright. So the map is completely empty. No Hopefully creep camps anymore. This is what Foggy sees right now. No expansion attempts, nothing. Or oh, one base against one base. Really rare in this matchup. To see this after 15 minutes. <laughs> the clipping arrows <laughs> on, the, on the bridge are so nice. Looks so retarded. Okay, here we go. Hawk is pulling... Did he pull Militia? No, he's fighting without Militia. But he retrained to Blizzard. I feel this really comes to strength with the clap combo. He doesn't have that right now. But of course he can get extra damage with Banish. For a short amount of time. Oh, he dropped the stone token. Wow, the base is completely gone. Oh... The peasants, oh my god, what happened here? Genocide in the base of Hawk, and I completely missed it. All the peasants dead. He has one more peasant in the entire game, and that's it. Foggy is going for the keep, and there's nothing to repair. Is there a town portal? Is there a town portal is the big question. He needs to pull it. There is one, but it's way too late. Hawk is losing his main base. And is there a counter town portal? Yes, there is. He can easily... Defend his main base if he wants to. He's wreaking havoc in Hawk's base. I think bears are faster, are faster than Blizzard. But we'll see if this comes down to a big, uh, to one big ma a base trade. Then Foggy and his bears will definitely do the race. I think, but I uh, misjudge things. And yeah, Foggy is doing was so smart, building one, uh, one more building here. But Hawk has this farm. Hawk has this farm, and here comes the town portal. The Tree of Eternity will be saved. Three bears in the back. Very offensive town portal. The stone token immediately throws the bash onto the Archmage. Is there an info potion? No, they're just the heal potion. What a breath of fire! Hitting everything, everybody. This was tremendous. Banished wears off. Here's the level 5 one. Maybe we see level uh, 3. Fan of knives. He's hitting the bears, but it's ah, uh, it's not enough. This is not enough. The ba the bears reign superior. Fan of knives hit so hard. The healing ward does a good job so far, but is it enough? No, I don't think so. Foggy on the hunt for the Archmage now. Heals himself with a potion, but this was the last one. One invo potion and the potion of divinity. He should definitely swap one and yeah, do some damage with the Archmage here. The bears getting lower and lower and lower, but they hit the rifleman just now really really hard. He needs to kite them, but he doesn't! He gives up! GG from Hawk! And Foggy wins Jera Cup number 30. $100 richer, everybody. And yeah, that's it for today. Three and a half hours of cast, Golden Cup and Jera Cup. Um, if you like this, you uh, feel free to follow us on Facebook, uh, Facebook and Twitter. And of course, uh, if you have some money left over like Ina did, you can always uh, throw us some money. Let's see if he has a message for us that I can read now. <laughs> That's of course uh, very, very nice of Ina. <clears throat> My donations. <clears throat> Re Remo Demo stays the hottest guy of the War 3 Arena scene. Well... Remo cut his hair, and I don't like it that much, to say the least. 
but you'll see it soon on stage, uh, on, on, on stage, on stream. So yeah, that's it for Jera Cup and Golden Cup. We will be back tomorrow with the replay of the week. And that's gonna be... Let's see, it's up on W3 Arena already. So tomorrow, a quick show with uh, yeah some unknown players. Kiki and Dennis. That looks uh, kind of interesting. 35-minute game, so make sure to watch it. I think we will start at 8 again tomorrow, so uh, make sure to follow this stream and watch it tomorrow. And send us some money or subscribe or follow or whatever. Uh, it's always a pleasure casting for you guys. It was fun. So here are the donuts. Goodbye routine. I'll stick around. So if you have any more questions, I'll answer them in the chat. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, I will be back tomorrow. See ya, guys. Um,